वेलकम बैक टू मॉडल मीनिया 2021 एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू मॉडल और एक्सरसाइज और मेक अ सिंपल एक्सरसाइज इन सॉलिड बॉक्स एंड वी विल लर्न बेसिक फीचर्स लाइक एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस बेस एक्सक्लूडेड कर्ट हाउ टू यूज होल विजार्ड फीचर्स एंड क्रिएट काउंटर बोर होल हाउ टू मेक टैप्ड होल हाउ टू अप्लाई कॉस्मेटिक थ्रेड हियर सो लेट्स मेक दिस सिंपल मॉडल इन सॉलिड वर्क्स This is the model Minia 2021, and we are going to model this simple exercise. Now, this is the top view. You will see, and if you see side view, thickness 20 millimeter. Okay. Now let's check the dimension. Center to center 80 millimeter. 40 millimeter is the half distance. You will see here also, and center there is a two circles. 60 mm and 50 mm if you see side view this height 60 mm even if you are going to check in section view see here so let's make this and at bottom see this is bottom view wall thickness 5 mm typical that that means we are going to use shell feature to create this one even though we have a drawing here see bottom so first we have to choose any plane so i'll i'm going to start with top plane sketch now activate circle tool now first we will draw two circles the first one 50 enter again click on center drag 60 enter okay right click and you want again circle so just simply put right and whatever thing you like you can do it so let's again i'm going to make this one the outer radius it's 12 so 12 into 2 it's 24 and the inside one it's 14 radius okay activate line tool connect from this point to this point escape or exit click this line convert construction geometry activate smart dimension tool this dimension 40 mm the similar vertical horizontal length 40 mm okay now let me add some three point tangent add something like this click select this two and make relation tangent it help us okay now click select this this things and here click circular sketch pattern now you will see the preview it's already going to make four number of instances see here 360 degree equal spacing and this all are selected by default so say yes but there is a problem you will see here this point is not defined so i am going to put somewhere here then again i am going to select both the arc tangent relation okay this is something near to defined edge activate smart dimension tool and this one 75 mm you will see this is fully defined sketch now exit and go to features and activate extruded boss base tool because we want to extrude now here more than one geometry so you have to choose all the close geometry one by one let's say this one this one this one okay now here we will keep end condition blind direction we will make upside and depth or thickness 20 mm say yes look now back side there is a shell so i am going to use shell tool now here put thickness 5 mm and click show preview select this one you will see say okay look again drop down the first extruded boss base menu select sketch extrude again we have to choose here which things we are going to extrude so i am going to choose this one okay now extrude up to 
60 millimeter. Look. Say, okay. But here we did some mistakes. So, edit feature and here we forget to add this section also. Say, okay. Now, that's perfect. Now, let's check here. You will see the all three, all red red fillet 3 millimeter. Here also the same thing. So, if you check in drawing, let's make this one first, then we will add radius. You will see here cross section view 12 millimeter, 30 degree angle, and center distance from center line 36 millimeter, and from bottom edge 42 millimeter, and you will see the width 36 millimeter. Okay, so we will extrude this one first front plane this is suitable sketch activate line tool now go back to the point and see it automatically convert into arc okay now i am going to connect this point to center point construction line make sure it is horizontal hidden line visible. Now I am going to hide fix up to this line. This is important otherwise it moves outward. Okay, that's a smart dimension. Radius 12 millimeter, the center distance 36. Now the distance from bottom 42 millimeter and the angle 30 degree see this is fully defined a sketch now activate extruded boss base feature see it moves in one direction so keep direction and condition mid plane and here depth 36 say yes but see there is a gap so, how to fill this one? In This is both side. So, if you go to direct editing, you will find option delete face. If I am going to choose one face, it gives you see too many options. So, this one all coplanar face one. I will choose this one. See, I will show you. It automatically select other side. No need to select one by one both faces. Delete and patch. Say yes. Look, it's patch. Okay, let's check fillet. Inside there is a fillet. The corner have fillet. This also fillet. And uh, this one also fillet. Okay. Then, there is one cutout. So you will see here, 3 millimeter saw cut at the center. So, we will add this also. So, fill it. I will choose if this face 3 millimeter. Look, it took all the features. This corner and choose this edge and se select bottom bottom face but there is a corner also you will see here if I am going to say ok and I am click one corner it gives you option so the first option is better choose first one and see it will automatically select all the inside corners this is the constant size fillet say yes look now click on the fillet and here drop down and you will see here fillet. Click and let's change the color. Say okay. Look, we apply color 
on all the billets you will see inside also top face activate line tool and draw one line from this corner to up to this face is now no need to draw any dimension click extruded cut here keep end condition through all uncheck dimension to direction to thin feature and here choose mid plane see it's going to move in both side thickness 3 mm look say yes look how we cut this one now let's see the last feature there is a counter bore hole see counter bore for nc matrix m8 socket head cap screw and uh, this hole throughout 9 mm 15 the counter bore diameter and depth of counter bore 8 mm so if we choose directly this one no need to define this one then this one is up to here and the half of this there is a tabbed hole m8 see this is tabbed hole 7 mm diameter so let's check hole wizard and here one option called counter bore see metric and here i am going to cho choose socket head cap screw m8 this is the thing normal and up to next position i'll choose this face once you choose this face it will show you where going to put so just keep cursor near and you will see center point okay even though you can define this point from here to this point should be 36 see say okay look hole wizard now this time tabbed hole so there is a straight tab metric bottoming tabbed hole M8. That's it. Next, next, and here choose with thread call out. Yes. Position. Select inside face and move cursor, and you will fix point here. Escape key. Say okay. option documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread say okay now you see you will see thread right click material edit material or simply choose plain carbon steel look but we will give appearance something different so i am going to choose here brass brushed this is seems better even though you can change the color of brass like yellow okay now look this seems more realistic so this is the simple exercise or simple model in solid works I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid box thanks for watching